Hey everybody, it's Busy Little B. Welcome back to my channel. Breezy went off last night. What's got her so mad? Breadsticks. <laughs> Breadsticks pissed her off. She started off the stream yelling at her viewers, chastising them. She goes on to talk badly on addicts, saying that well, insinuating that all addicts would prostitute themselves for their drug of choice, which says more about her, I think, than it does addicts in general. Her mean girl persona was very much on display, so let's go ahead and get into the glips. Um, the other night when Carrie was in here, I was made to believe by one of the three of you guys that Carrie was starting all this drama and trouble and um, because I was going through something and talking about it on my live, I wasn't really watching all the breadsticks you guys put in the chat, um, trying to instigate her. And unfortunately, I saw her finally say something and I snapped at her and that's not cool. Like, I really just watched you guys be part of a chat that dragged me and laughed about um carrie being in the chat when all that went down like that kind of sucks like don't use me to get back at people um i haven't done anything to you guys so i was just watching on what's it called the geek squad or something i was just watching the chat you guys were reacting to my video the chat was absolutely awful about me and you guys were laughing about putting breadsticks in my chat booty's gonna be turning tricks for cheeseburgers if youtube fails her she would, though. She would. People do what they got to do for their addictions. And uh, Booty's no better than any of us. If, if, her, if her finances get cut off through YouTube to pay for her way to eat, like, if she can't afford her mukbangs anymore, like, she is not better than any addict. Like, addicts do what they have to do to get their drug of choice. Um, it'll be interesting to see that. Enjoying demonetization, still lying about the reason. You know, I, I am enjoying it because I've had so much time to build other platforms and I'm so close to being an affiliate on Twitch. Um, it's great, actually. I don't have to worry about every word I say right now. It's kind of a, it feels like a little tiny bit of a weight has been lifted off of me for a while, but I'm looking forward to getting my monetization back. Tiffany said, at her world, I love everyone. You weren't being so loving in my comment section earlier, Tiffany. I have no issue with anybody right now, really. Um, well, maybe like one person, but nobody here. <laughs> nobody here. Like, I have nothing to do with it, and I don't want to be used for people to get back at each other. Crazy, you stand by... What? I have not seen Hurl say anything homophobic. Don't blame anything on me. I haven't seen Hurl say anything, and you need to mind yourself right now. So just because you come in here claiming things doesn't mean it's true. And Hurl knows my views. So they're my friend and I don't think they would go around saying that. Why would they want to hurt me, right? For those of you who weren't in Hannibal's stream when that went down with Hurl and Celebrity Juicer, Hurl kept calling Celebrity Juicer Sir when Juicer clearly stated, I'm a woman. Uh, Hurl continued to call him sir, and she talked over everybody. It was just a mess. But Hannibal reined it in like he always does and got a hold of things. But that's what people were talking about when they called Hurl um, homophobic. I don't think she's homophobic. I think she's very bigoted. She thinks people that are older than her are like, you know, ancient, and she seems to be in her 20s. I know Breezy won't believe it because it wasn't on her channel. She's very uh, close-minded. She's got her blinders on when it comes to people. She does it with people she likes, usually friends. Her the peop Usually the people she calls her friends are really just enemies with her enemy. And like that's how she bonds with people, I guess. So I think that the fact that her world really, really doesn't like Jessica Messica is a lot of the reason that she and Breezy announced that they are friends. Side note, Hurl announced on Hannibal's stream that she and I are friends. 
I am friendly with a lot of people online. I don't know any of these people. I don't know any of these people in real life. Real life people are who I consider my friends. I talk to people, but do I consider these people my friends? Do I trust these people? Of course not. And anyone who does is seriously naive. You are very naive if you think anyone on the internet that you speak with a few times on someone else's chat is your friend. Like, that's just, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, let's go on to the next clip. It's above, I just wanted to confirm you're a bigot. I'd be careful. So basically, our chat is filled with trolls, and that's okay. At this point, we just ignore and we move on. Sounds like it was dozens of breadsticks. I think it was one person. I don't know. I don't really care to keep talking about it. Because I have somebody who snuck into my Patreon gaining ground um, to cover my content. <laughs> I have Jessica and your mama. Jessica and Jessica, your mama, like, following all my socials everywhere. Um, Twitch, TikTok, where else? The, like, everywhere. Literally everywhere. And yet, I am still here. I have a bazillion trolls in my chat, and somehow I still carry on. A lot of tech to determine that was a lie. I have personally talked to the Gaining Ground, and he has himself confirmed he has not and would not put money into Breezy's pocket by sneaking onto her Patreon. She really is so self-important. Um, yeah, they need somebody to hate and blame, so hi. I'm used to it. I just put a Patreon video up tonight on um, some addiction stories, a bit about my recovery. Welcome to the shit show. <laughs> I think I'm done supporting you as a creator if this is what you think of people. If I have an opinion that um, I've never seen you guys all in my chat before at the same time and suddenly you guys were here the same night Carrie was and um, I just literally saw you bragging in a chat about putting red sticks to piss her off during my live stream. Um, my opinion is I don't really have an opinion other than I'm saying don't use me to like get back at each other. You're on Twitch because you're demonetized here. <sighs> well, this is going to be fun tonight. I mean, people are lucky I'm in the mood to play. So, <laughs> gosh, um, I could probably go work three jobs if I wanted to because I can move around. Um, I don't have to feed every 15 minutes, you know. Um, and then here's Foodie Beauty, and truly, this is her karma. If you can go work three jobs, why are you trying so hard to move to Twitch to move to other platforms to talk about Foodie Beauty? Just wondering. That's all I got for you guys today. I really want to get this family channel video out, but I keep getting sidetracked because people are DMing me, telling me about all this stuff going on, and I'm nosy, so people tell me about things, and I want to see it myself. So I hope you enjoyed. Please stay tuned. Much more content coming soon. I'll see you guys next time. Busy little bee, I will have to congratulate you and thank you on this coverage of the story that nobody ever wants to hear. That's about Breezy, uh, breezy and uh, Garlic Bread. I am all over anytime you drop some content. <laughs>